What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wild Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. In this video, I just want to do a quick little recap of the 2016 NBA All Star Weekend. Um, this this All Star Weekend was pretty great to me. Uh, it was a lot of you know good things in this All Star Weekend. Um, slam dunk contest was pretty good. You know, it came down to a battle. Um, you know, the All Star game was great. Um, the skills challenge was pretty good. Pretty interesting how they did it. Um, pretty much for that, uh, the, the, the Taco Bell Skills Challenge, you had um, Demarcus Cousins, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, Draymond Green, pretty much, you know, was up against, you know, uh, C.J. McCollum, Jordan Clarkson, Isaiah Thomas, Emmanuel Moutier, and that pretty much came down to, um, you know, it seemed like it was big versus small, you know, that was just the format that they had, because at the end, if you made it to the last round, it's pretty much a big versus a small. Um, pretty much, it shocked me because I didn't expect Quadrant Towns to win this at all. I kind of thought that um, Isaiah Thomas was going to win because I felt he was, he's a, he's a speedster, man. And I felt like Isaiah Thomas was going to be able to pull this off. But the bigs, man, they came to play. Quadrant Towns, man, he came to play. Uh, so that was good, the Taco Bell Skills Channel. That was, you know, interesting. Then moving on to my favorite part, one of my favorite parts out of All-Star Weekend, the three-point shootout contest. This was exciting, man. This was great. You had uh, Draymond Green. Um, you had Klay Thompson. You had James Harden. I mean, you didn't have Draymond Green. I'm sorry. You had uh, Klay Thompson. You had James Harden, J.J. Redick, uh, Chris Middleton, um, Devin Booker, uh, C.J. McCollum, Kyle Lowry, uh, Stephen Curry. And I believe, I believe that was it. Great all around. A lot of guys, you know, they were shooting up three point ball well. Um, a couple guys tied each other, and eventually they had to go to pretty much a shootout. In the last round, it was pretty much uh, Clay Thompson. It was pretty much Clay Thompson versus Devin Booker and Stephen Curry. Um, Clay Thompson, he pretty much set the night off with 22 in the first round. He pretty much set the stage. And, of course, you know, Stephen Curry was going to do what he was going to do. And, you know, in that final round, pretty much uh, Devin Booker, he was only able to put up 16 points while Clay Thompson, Steph, uh, Stephen Curry put up 23 points. And then uh, pretty much he, he, he had a chance to possibly beat Clay Thompson or Clay Thompson had a chance to beat him and Clay Thompson, man. This dude got hot, and when he get hot, he was rolling. I thought Stephen Curry was going to win it. Um, I just felt like Klay Thompson probably wasn't going to have enough in him to, you know, come back and win. Well, this dude got on a roll, and man, 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 it was it was just amazing how you have two of these the best shooters in the game on the same team, and just to see them display their ability each night, you know, night in and night out, and then to get to the All Star three point shootout contest. You don't really see teammates, you know, compete in this competition. And Stephen Curry, I mean, not Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, he ended up scoring 27. He damn near was perfect. Um, but at least it's everything, you know, they got both trophies in the Golden State family, you know. Hey, if Draymond Green would have won the uh, skills competition, would have been back to back. It would have been a three-peat. <laughs> um, then moving on to the slam dunk contest, pretty, pretty interesting. I'm not even going to talk about the other guys, but the main two guys that was put on the show was Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine. These guys put together a showdown for the ages. Um, some 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 great, impressive dunks. Um, this contest pretty much I've ever seen. Um, you know, nothing, nothing against Will Barton and, and, and Andre Drummond, but, you know, they had a, you know, created first round dunks, but, you know, the party pretty much got started with Gordon and Levine. They really got down to business, man. If you guys didn't catch it, look at the YouTube highlights. I know some people are probably going to say, well, Levine, look like he do some of the same dunks. Man, hey, they work. He's a high flyer. And Aaron Gordon, it was a battle. It was a battle. Uh, great, great slam dunk contest, at least for that, you know, for that, you know, pretty much those two guys put on the show. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember, but they uh, – they had a, it had to be, a, it was a dunk off. It was a dunk off. They had to tell me to dunk off. That's how great those two guys was. And, of course, Zach Levine, he pretty much sealed it and won it back to back. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's crazy because I think he came out to Drake's song back to back. And then, look, he won the award, so now he's back to back. But Aaron Gordon, either one of those guys could have won. They did some great, great, impressive dunks, man. Um, so, yeah. That was a pretty, pretty interesting thing. I, I, I expect to see Aaron Gordon in a lot more. And obviously, Zach Levine and some of those other guys, I hope can, you know, we can get some more high fly dunkers in this next year. 
Now, also moving on to the big game that everybody was waiting to see, the All-Star game. Um, one of my favorite events to see. Um, it's just good to see a bunch of the guys compete against each other. A little friendly competition, but you already know sometimes the All-Star game, it can get very, very serious. And um, it was just good to see, you know, Kobe Bryant on his last All-Star game appearance. You know, his farewell, the treatment that he's been getting all season has been great. I feel like he's deserved it. And the way that they gave him a great, great introduction to the All-Star game for him to be his last, pretty damn amazing, man. 18 appearances, um, 18 times voting in, 15 straight appearances. Pretty fucking spectacular, man. Um, now, he wasn't really in it to win it. He said he wasn't going to try go out there and try to win it. He just wanted to play, have fun, enjoy himself. Um, I think he's like he only scored like ten points. I think seven rebounds and I think six rebounds and seven assists. I think what five eleven or four eleven from the field. So you know it got to a point where Kobe kind of stopped passing. I wish he would have just you know was a little bit more aggressive. But we all knew he probably wasn't going to win. He was just out there having fun. The players was having fun with him. He was smiling, enjoying himself. This was his farewell. You know, this is a Kobe Bryant. You really always see so serious, and for him to just be enjoying himself. Um, Paul George had a hell of a game. He was close to breaking the record. He had 41 points. And my man Russell Westbrook. Let's talk about Russell Westbrook. There's been a lot of people saying stuff about Russell Westbrook in this game. Oh, he it looked like he was just trying to take over. It looked like him and KD was just trying to take over the game. It's like a, they thought it was an Oklahoma City game. Listen, man, what can you say about Russell Westbrook killer instinct? This is why Kobe Bryant said um, Russell Westbrook is like him because he has that killer instinct. This dude came out there to win. Of course, have fun. But, hey, man, it's the All-Star game. He puts on a show. Um, he had 31 points, 12 of 23, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 steals. This looked like he was playing a regular season game. He was just out there having fun, enjoying himself. So you can't get mad at that. I mean, other guys was doing their thing too. And, um, you know, Westbrook was just doing his thing too. Yeah, he shot 23 times. You usually don't see one guy shoot that many times. But, hey, man, he was hot. He was trying to entertain. Um, I don't think he even know that he was even going to possibly win it, but he did. Um, people shouldn't criticize him for being um, um, having a killer instinct. So now we're going to we're going to criticize him for that. I mean, Paul George. Look what Paul George was doing. I think he had eight threes. He tied Carmelo Anthony. Um, but overall, it was a great it was a great weekend. I enjoyed this weekend. You know, I think this is one of the highest All Star games. Yeah, this was the highest All Star games. Period. So. You know, pretty interesting. One 196 to 173, the West. I always roll with the West, obviously, because I'm a Dow Lakers fan. You know, but um, overall, you know, the farewell treatment for this All-Star game for Kobe Bryant was good. The slam dunk contest, the All-Star game, the rookie rising challenge. That was that was a good game. You know, we saw some young talent that can possibly be some superstars and future superstars in the league play some very, very good uh, basketball. So that was pretty good. Chris, was, I mean, Porzingis, he looked pretty damn good. A lot of guys look good. Wiggins, obviously, still improving. Um, Devin Booker, we got to see guys that we won't see, you know, we really don't see on a nightly basis. And it was pretty, pretty good. So anyway, guys, you guys tell me what you thought about the All-Star weekend. Was it good? Was it bad? Tell me what you think, man. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. Check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all the social media sites. I'm out. Deuces.